Ventimiglia, where the hope of the European dream becomes reality. For those fleeing war, there is safety of sorts, but not the sanctuary they'd sought. For those fleeing poverty, there is money, but it's not theirs. They've journeyed for years. Iran, Turkey, Greece, Albania, Montenegro, Bosnia, uh, Croatia, Slovenia, to Italy, to France. To find they are the travellers Europe does not want. But they've not come this far to be deterred, and so they journey on. Convinced the dream Italy didn't provide may lie on French soil or beyond. This is one of the main routes into France. They jump over the wall behind me and walk along the high-speed rail line for hours in the hope that French police don't apprehend them on the way. They're used to death being at their heel, but compared to the perils of the boats, the trains don't bring fear. But they do die on these tracks, their journey at an end far before its destination. The moon is friend and enemy. The light aids their passage, but it highlights their presence to the French police who seek to repel them. This 23-year-old from Darfur told me he walked 90 miles along the tracks before being detained and sent back to Ventimiglia. In the station, those who leave without goodbyes hope to avoid welcome. It's a 10-minute ride into France. Italy, overwhelmed by scale, doesn't barricade its own frontier. But the French do, or try to. They know some of those seeking to cross Europe use these trains as their transport. Merging with those who do have the freedom to travel and hope that they won't be detected. For some, it works. For many, it does not. And a steady flow find their journeys at an end on the platform they've reached France. But not for long. For some, there is still the hope that evasion will provide escape. A hope to outrun those who seek them in the quest to keep pushing on through Europe. But this time, he couldn't outrun them and is detained. The new clothes and shoes many buy to blend in have not worked. For all those gathered on the platform, the time in France will be in a cell. Every day, the French police are detaining dozens of people on trains coming from Italy. Often, they've tried multiple times to get across the border. Even now, as they take these people away, they know it's very likely they'll see them again in the days and weeks ahead. After the paperwork is done, they're released. A sorry trudge from France back to Italy. Just a few hours after we saw them being detained, this couple from Guinea-Bissau told us why they keep trying to leave Italy. England is the country of my dreams, he says. I'll keep going, one step at a time. His partner insists they will try again. We are orphans of land. We have nowhere else, she says. The border is a meeting point of those who have lived through some of the most brutal crises of the century. Mahmoud fled Afghanistan for the West when the West pulled out. He's tried to reach France three times and will again. Afghanistan as well. Problem, America. America problem. America's problem? Yeah, Taliban. Many have the right to seek asylum, but they're without safe routes or legal options to request which country they wish to reach. I am Finnish, Iran. Fadim used okay. smugglers to flee Iran. He's tried four times to reach France. I'm uh, going to uh, England, United Kingdom, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, just uh, 
Italian and France very, very bad, very, very bad. With translation, he tells me he feared execution back home for taking part in anti-government protests. I participated in the uprising of Masa Amini one year ago. Like all the people, I was with the people and dissatisfied with this republic that does not respect women's rights at all. There is another route from Italy, across the mountains known as the Pass of Death. Along a remote path, we found the traces of those who'd taken it, having failed on the trains and tracks. Heading towards the mountain, we met Hilal. Fleeing Afghanistan, he was undeterred by the dangers ahead. The journey you are taking is very dangerous. Afghanistan, a Taliban, a problem. I go to France, my family in France. When we spoke with Hilal the next day, he'd reached Paris. Many others, however, have not succeeded. Lucky left Nigeria eight years ago. He's been unable to get to France and now regrets ever leaving home. Would you tell people in Nigeria not to come to Italy? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is better for you to find a nice, maybe a, a, a business and enterprises for living because we have, for us, we have seen the system here. It's, it's really different. And yet many more will follow the harsh reality of the European dream only becoming clear on arrival. For those already here, it is a never-ending quest for place and peace. Emma Murphy, ITV News, on the France-Italy border.